Hello everyone, my name's JJ Beasley. I'm one of the BeaverFit trainers and I'm heading up BeaverFit Education, which is a side company of BeaverFit, offering dynamic functional fitness solutions for everyone's training goals or training facilities. I'm here today with my glamorous assistant Goose, who you'll meet in a second, to talk to you about our frontline tactical fitness solutions. Here we have a FOB locker, FOB standing for forward operating base. The rationale behind developing the FOB locker was to provide a single solution to the conundrum of how to keep frontline troops functionally fit for operations. Obviously on the front line there aren't going to be fitness or leisure facilities readily available to keep our troops fighting fit. So the FOB locker was developed with this in mind to provide a single solution. Its total weight when full is only 2.8 tonnes and as it's an ISO container it can be easily picked up and transported via lorry, train, helicopter, aeroplane or ship meaning it can be transported to the most remote locations around the world. Now I'm going to take you over to a fob locker to show you just what you get inside. So here we are at the fob locker. First thing you should know, each one has the very own unique identification serial number, just so we know which product is with which customer. Just open it up for you. So, so this is the inside of the fob. Before we talk about any of this, I'm going to show you the whiteboard. Each fob locker comes with its own whiteboard for writing workouts down. Also, we've got a contents list on, just so you know exactly what you're getting inside a fob locker. All the steel you see hanging up, those are your outside rigs that attach to each side of the fob locker. Here you've got some attachments that will attach to the rig, an adjustable bench, four Olympic bars, and all your bumper plates down here, ruck of sandbags there. But inside these two black boxes is where most of your kit is. And I'm going to get my assistant Goose to unpack it for you. Here you have your 10 metre battle rope, the resistant band sets, the varying resistance. This is where you find your selection of kettlebells at their different weights, two sets of gymnastics rings, so that's your Viper belt, your resisted sprint band and harness. In this box you get your TRX rip trainers, your TRX force kits, suspension systems, your 10kg medicine ball and your clamp collars for your Olympic bars. So thanks Goose for showing us all the kit. The last thing I'm going to show you, in one of these boxes, comes a whiteboard marker kit. So first thing, you can double tape this to your whiteboard and double check all the kit you've got. Okay, so obviously, for example, we've seen the TRX forces in there, we've seen the rip trainers in there, got the sandbags at the back, um, jump platform, so you can tick off First thing you do, make sure you've got all the kit with you. So now Goose and I are just going to show you just how easy it is to erect one of these outside rigs. Before we start, I'm just going to mention Inside the fobs you get all the bolts, washers, nuts that you'll need to erect this and you get two spanners as well, so everything you need to build the side bits. So what we're doing first, we're going to attach all three wall brackets, then we're going to attach the legs. This is the easiest way of doing it. Next thing I should say, leave everything loose. Put the rig up completely, leave all the bolts loose, and then tighten them when you're finished, just in case there's any error.
make a note. On the wider side, tighten the bottom bolts first in order to get that wing over the top. So we're going to tighten these now. I'm also just going to mention on these arm brackets, the holes are slotted. It's not just a hole. So you can move the height of these brackets on the legs. Ideally, you want the top of this bracket right at the top of this leg. So they're nice and snug at the same level. As I've mentioned, we've left all the nuts and bolts loose until we get that wing on. Now Goose is just tightening everything up so it's nice and safe to use. So as you can see, the one side of the rig's up. This is what it looks like. Obviously on the other side, the process is exactly the same. The rig's exactly the same. The process of putting it up's the same. So now you know how to erect the rig. Let's get on with some training. <laughs> 